for a number of years, the Kern County Sheriff's Office has been paying off women who were sexually assaulted by deputies. In return, the victims had to waive their right to sue. But critics of this practice claim it's unethical and cheats crime victims out of what is rightfully theirs. Eyewitness News reporter Jose Gaspar is here with more on what's behind the controversy. Jose? Rochelle, this method of paying sexual assault victims came to light as a result of a series of reports done by the Guardian newspaper, which is highly critical of police practices here in Kern County. The county, though, defends the practice, saying it is both legal and ethical. In 2009, Kern County Detention's Deputy Anthony Lavis sexually assaulted a woman inmate at Lairdo Jail. But before any charges against Lavis were ever filed, the Sheriff's Office directly offered the woman $1,500 if she waived her right to sue. In 2013, Deputy Gabriel Lopez sexually assaulted three women into Hatchby. Again, sheriff's officials went directly to the victims' homes with offers of a cash settlement, and none of the victims had a lawyer present. I think it's a pretty scary and intimidating situation. David Cohn is an attorney who represents the victim at Laredo Jail and two of the victims into Hatchby. Number one, you're dealing with victims who are under a great deal of emotional distress having been sexually assaulted by <clears throat> a sheriff's deputy. For any legal counsel to suggest that engaging in that process is unethical in some way is bogus. There is simply nothing to suggest that it is. Mark Nations is assistant county counsel. Federal courts, he notes, have upheld the practice of pain victims directly in return for absolving local entities from civil liability. There's nothing wrong with it as long as the arrangement is voluntary and it's deliberate and it's, it's knowing. In other words, it's an informed release of their rights. But in the case of the woman sexually assaulted at Lairdo Jail, the county initially paid her $1,500. That settlement, however, was later thrown out when the woman retained an attorney who challenged its validity. And so we opted to settle the case. Settle for how much? $300,000. So it went from $1,500 from what the county had offered her to a settlement of $300,000? Correct. It's quite a big difference, isn't it? And yes, it's a lot. According to the Guardian report, some victims settled for as little as $200 and give up their right to sue the sheriff's department. If you were the victim, is that the right thing to do? Is, is that the way you want to treat the victim of a sexual assault? Both deputies Anthony Lavis and Gabriel Lopez are now serving prison time after being convicted. And so far, three victims of sexual assault have accepted cash settlements. The county says it will continue the cash settlement practice on a case-by-case -case basis.